receive you. And if you want that receive you, have to kill you. <laughs> because evil cannot exist in the world. If you have that, you know, the family, the, the, the property of women, the state, you know, by your priest, if you it, at least, you know, if you confess that you are burned to death, uh, you know, on, on the stake, if you then confess at the last minute and you get strangled, then maybe you will only rot in heaven for two million years instead of for four million years. <laughs> that will be. This is what we are going to do. Now, one, one, one other observation of the infinite agreement of this, and I hope the economists, I hope Professor Friedman will take this up. David Friedman will take this up. I don't know, he said, he's taken up enough. I am commenting on this. In my forthcoming book, but it hits you in the eye. And the presentation was plunging you in the eye. We are living, supposedly, in a sophisticated, modern, free market, more or less capitalist society. Now, what in the world has the consumption of children consuming something have to do with the market of something between adults? Children also don't, can't buy stocks and bonds from any age. They also can't buy houses. They also can't buy cars. So what has all this got to do with whether or not you and I can sell each other drugs? Nothing. Except for the religious. If you want to incite them up, you talk about the Jews stealing Catholic children so that they can put their blood into their mouths. <laughs> and I apologize for bringing this up, but the protocols of the elders of Zion, a la Janet Cook, I want to have been one of the most successful literary inventions. People are much more interested in fiction than in fact. In fact, my most sober conclusion, which I reached a long time ago, is that nations, groups, large groups of people, maybe a family can live on truth, but large groups of people only seem to be able to live together on a green for some colossal land. <laughs> this is traditionally being on the region. But there has to be some colossal fiction. But well, you can't agree on the fact that 3 and 3 is 6. That's not very interesting. <laughs> or that radioactivity is dangerous. I mean, people can't agree on it. It's not interesting. You have to have some tremendous fiction. And this is our fiction. Now, the fact that this fiction is causing, and that this is highly allied now to the medical profession, and I don't want to, I mean, I say, you know, bad things about medicine and psychiatry, I don't need this very good platform to add to it, but it is relevant. Okay, I will stop. It is, it is very relevant. Because in point of fact, the American Medical Association and the American Psychiatric Association have exactly like the judges swung with the pendulum, and as soon as drugs became unpopular, they have invented a whole bunch of new diseases. Now, when I went to medical school, I never heard of marijuana. Now, smoking marijuana is a disease which the doctors treat with government money. So, there is an enormous cui bono element in this. So that, you know, all of the institutions that you would hope would be a, a break on this phenomenon, actually, I put just poor oil on it. Well, let me take one second to see if there's anything that's terribly important that I should say. Uh, well, yes, I, there's only one other thing I would want to say is that in addition to the fact that these are children, see, I don't even see how we can begin to talk about writing this situation in terms of education, because here I will talk as a true-blooded libertarian. I think there's a tremendous problem in this country with education and with the fact that the state has a monopoly on education. Now, that, the most obvious thing that even Republicans and Democrats talk about it is that the children don't do as well as they do in Japan or Switzerland, or that they don't know enough mathematics or enough French. That's the tip of the iceberg. This is the bottom of the iceberg. How can we have anything resembling drug education if people don't learn that drugs can enable you just as well as if they can disable
one of the Reagan uh, Bush drug war, showing time and again how they have over, uh, they've overblown their, you know, their, their claim to victory. By dredging up an 11 year old story that the Pope and the media in general have broadly repudiated, I should engage in the same type of caricaturing you criticize. I think on the uh, 